Well, I'm working on a lot of things now. I have shifted my own research mostly into the area of cultural evolution because I'm convinced, as are my colleagues, that we are not going to solve the gigantic problems humanity faces without getting real changes in culture and behavior. We've got to have cultural evolution uh, so that we start treating each other and the environment upon which we all depend uh, much, much better. And so it's a matter of behavioral change, but we don't know anywhere near as much about cultural evolution, that is evolution in our non-genetic information, as we do in Darwinism, which is evolution in our genetic uh, uh, information. But we don't have any international effort to say, you know, how are we behaving? Uh, we have global problems. Why don't we have a global system to fix it? Uh, why are we willing to live with people, large numbers of people starving when we've got enough food to feed them? Nowhere is it written that we have to succeed, that we can avoid the first global collapse of a civilization. You know, we have a long history as a species of building civilizations and then having them collapse, like classic Maya, the Easter Island, the, basically the Greeks. They were regional or local. For the first time in human history, we have the threat of the collapse of a global civilization, and there's no reason at all to believe that we can change fast enough to avoid it. But it seems to me, particularly when I look at the young kids I know, that all of us have the ethical obligation to try.